Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Alex, this is The Car Creative. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to make really cool, moody edits with your car photography, or hopefully any other type of photography as well. And when I say moody, I tend to think of like a little bit darker, a little bit softer in the highlights. You can still kind of retain the shadows, and typically, I guess what I think of moody, I think of it as a bit more on the blue tone. So that's kind of where I'm gonna try and take these photos, and I'm gonna show you step by step how we can get there, all the tools in Lightroom, and then as well we're going to kind of create a preset from this and try and use it on some of the photos that you guys have submitted already before we get into that though i just want to thank you guys so much we're really close to 10k subs on youtube which is amazing i'm so thankful for all the support you guys have given me so what i want to do is i actually want to do a 10k q and a so i want to get to know you guys a little bit i want you to get to know me because i don't know this is kind of like a milestone i guess in the journey but i'm just super grateful so post some questions that you have for me about either car photography, my car photography career, what I do for work, whatever you wanna know, just post it down there and I'll be picking a ton of questions and going through them. Lastly, Procase reached out and they wanted to send me some cool goodies and I was like, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Free stuff sounds good. This is not sponsored by them by any means, but they did send me some pretty cool stuff. One of them being this cool mouse pad that has a wireless charging system for your cell phone over here, which I think is pretty dope. So I'll link some of their stuff down below. But other than that, let's dive into this edit here. So I'm gonna start by doing our basic edits to this photo. Uh, we're actually gonna bring the exposure down a little bit, make sure that our shadows and the details, all the details that we want are coming out of that Lamborghini. Uh, the whites and highlights, we're gonna soften those as much as possible. Make sure we're not losing any blacks. We're gonna add some dehaze because I like when it brings those sky back, but we're gonna go back into our blacks and make sure we're not losing any details. So I'm holding option here and then dragging that up. Uh, until I'm satisfied with the result there. So the biggest thing that we're gonna do with this photo, and you probably know this already when we're making moody photos, is we're gonna desaturate the image quite a bit. I don't really think there's a science to it, but what you really need to know is that we're gonna desaturate everything and then bring back the colors that we want to through either selective edits or through the HSL tab. Moving on to the tone curve, I'm gonna soften the highlights again we're gonna bring down the contrast and we're kind of bringing everything a little bit below that middle line just because we want it to be softer. Uh, and then this shadows tone, we're actually gonna bring up and soften the shadows as well. And then this middle tone, we're gonna use to either add or take away contrast, however you wanna do it. Now we're gonna go down to our HSL. So what this is doing is we're obviously making the entire image moody and then bringing back the car or our subject. So if you're shooting a human, you'd probably be bringing back the saturation in the orange tones. So bring those back, we're gonna bring down the yellow because you can see the lines on the road there are yellow. We're gonna bring down the aqua because aqua always shows up in the windshield, which I don't really need. Now, the thing is with these moody photos, they can sometimes come across as dull. Uh, so don't worry, we're actually still gonna add life and I'm gonna show you guys how we do that. So we're gonna make this green pop with the luminance a little bit, not too much there because we're gonna go back in there later. Add sharpening, we're gonna mask just what we want sharpened. So you hold option and you drag your masking tool up and we just wanna sharpen the edges of our Lamborghini, help it stand out and pop out. I don't think it's a very noisy, but maybe we'll just add a touch there. I'm gonna tap R and we're just gonna straighten this photo out just a touch. So far, we've got a pretty moody, desaturated, but we're still retaining all the details. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna help pull our car out, add a bit more life and dimension to this. So if you hit M, you're gonna get your graduated filters. So I'm just gonna drag up from the bottom here. And if you've seen any of my other videos, what we're doing is we're just drawing attention to the car. Uh, we're gonna pull it down from the top as well. Again, just kind of making it more moody. And then I'm gonna hit Shift M and that gives us our radial filter. So I'm gonna put this over our car because we really just want our car to stand out. Obviously something wonky is going on here, so we're just gonna reset that. Okay, so we do wanna add a bit of exposure, make the car pop. Now, when you do this, it obviously is washing out the car. So we're just gonna add contrast back in to make sure that it fits in normally. Make sure our feather's up on that radial filter. And if we want to, we can bring in more saturation as well. So what was a really kind of 
desaturated and lifeless photo is now starting to pop back to life, which is really fun. Maybe we can add a bit more shadow, see a bit more of the details in here. Now, every time you add kind of exposure or shadow, you need to make sure that to make sure that radio filter sits naturally, that you're kind of bringing those bl blacks back down. So you gotta be kind of delicate with that to make sure it still sits really naturally. So there we go, that's a really basic way to get the mood there. Now, if this looks dull to you and you wanna add colors, that's where I come down to my split toning panel and I tend to add a bit of blue into my shadows here, maybe up to 10, uh, and then you can kind of just pick and choose where you want to go with that, but that's how I add like my blue mood, because you're desaturating, you're taking all the color out, but if you still want to add life or color to your, let's say, Instagram feed and make it align with what's going on there, this is how I do it. Uh, we can add a bit of warmth into the highlights as well, and let's see how that turns out. One more thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna add one graduated filter off to the side and we're gonna add a little bit of shape. So this is without the light and this is kind of bringing in light, adding shape and dimension into the car. And I think maybe even what we want, if we wanted to here, we could actually bring down the exposure on the final image just a little bit. And then we're looking at a really cool, moody Lamborghini. So moving over to the second image, I freaking love this image, but we're just gonna add this moody filter onto it. Obviously it is pretty underexposed, so we're gonna go up to our exposure and we're gonna drag this up. Obviously we've got kind of our moody tones, we've got kind of those softer highlights, softer shadows, but what we wanna do is kind of add shape back into this photo. So we're gonna shape how the light is kind of falling over the Lamborghini through using some of these radial filters. We're gonna kind of take this, we're gonna follow this light and we're gonna bring the exposure down, make it look like the light is kind of flooding in through those doors, exactly how they are, but we're just kind of gonna accentuate, woo, what's happening. Now, one thing you can do if you're using radial filters is you can actually take a brush, because I'm bringing exposure down on this whole part of the image here, it's bringing exposure down in this little corner as well. So I'm gonna grab the brush from this filter and I'm actually just gonna erase what it's doing to this little section here. It's still affecting everything that's going on up here, but I'm just brushing out that part of it specifically. And then lastly, we're gonna add one more because I'm assuming the light would fall off the farther it gets away from that light source. So we're gonna bring the exposure down a little bit here as well. We're gonna grab a radio filter, we're gonna bring it over our car, and we're gonna try and add just a little bit more exposure. Uh, it is gonna start adding noise, so we're just gonna be really careful. We're actually gonna denoise it here, add some sharpening, and make sure we add a good amount of contrast. Okay, so there we go, guys. There is the before and after and it's kind of a cool moody blue tone. So I have selected some photos of your guys's that I actually wanna try this filter on as well. And I thought this was a really cool photo submitted by Sandro How Deep. I thought it was a good one to test it on because this is actually a really bright, sunny photo. And if you're wanting to do moody edits, does it still work? So let's check this out here. Let's slap the moody preset on there, which already looks pretty good. And then let's take the dark night filters which does the same thing that I've been doing previously. And we're actually just gonna center this a little bit, bring it a little closer in, and there you go. Just a few clicks, and we've got a pretty cool moody edit on that one. This is a really cool photo of the Porsche Taycan, submitted by Tobias Heinrich, and we're just gonna put that moody preset on, and then from here, we're gonna start trying to pull that car back out. This is another good example because the sky is really blue, so we just need to figure out which tones we wanna pull back to make it really moody uh, and desaturated, and then we can pull the car back out. So we're gonna again take that radial filter, pull it over the car, maybe actually bring the exposure up on the whole image so that the car can stand out really nicely. And then obviously it's not looking as moody anymore. We're gonna add these filters to make sure that the eye is being drawn to the right place, bring down the mood in the sky. Now obviously that gets really saturated again, so we're gonna bring the saturation down. There we go, I think that puts the focus on the car just a little bit more cropping it in like that. Let's create a new radial filter, bring it over the car, we're just gonna add exposure, and then we're gonna actually use a range mask on the color. We're gonna pick the color we want, which is this nice blue stuff here. And let's see what that's doing for us. Hit O, 
and make sure that it's not affecting anything else besides our blues. That's the moody edit on that one. And this one is a fun one because a lot of the mood that we take away in this is typically yellow. I typically take away a lot of yellow and oranges, but in this one specifically, we're actually gonna try and bring it back because obviously those headlights look so sick and the light streaks that are happening behind also look really cool. So just by starting with that moody preset and then bringing back the colors in the places we want is a really great start for this photo. I'm just gonna add the Dark Knights filter. We're gonna adjust our radial filter here, help this stand out just a touch more. Make sure that our radial filters are looking good. Maybe we can even bring the exposure down a touch more. And there you go, a beautiful car, a really cool shot and a moody edit. Uh, this photo was submitted by Simply Alex. You can see all the cool settings that he used there. And lastly, this really cool Porsche 911 992. We're gonna toss the moody edit on there and the Dark Knight filters, and this thing should be good to ship. So there you go guys, that's a really, really quick tutorial on how to get your moody tones and how easy it is. Really it comes down to desaturating your image, making sure your exposure looks good, and then bringing focus back to your main subject. So in our case, it's cars, which is really unique. Usually there's fun colors you get to mess around with and bring them back out. Pull the car back out if you're shooting humans, pets, whatever you wanna shoot. Just make sure that you're bringing that subject back out after you've desaturated your image. And I think you'll get some pretty cool moody edits. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this really quick tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button for me. Please comment down below as it really helps YouTube know if you liked watching this video or not. Uh, add some Q&A questions down there for when we hit 10K. And otherwise guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.